Uh, hey everyone, welcome back to the um, welcome back to the channel. So, as a weather enthusiast, it really bugs me every year uh, when a tornado or a severe thunderstorm event happens, and people say, "I had no warning," or "That doesn't happen here," or "This was one of a kind." And as for me, a very amateur weather forecaster and photographer, when I do my forecast, keep in mind I'm very amateur in this field. I can still predict thunderstorm events in my area days in advance. The first myth I will be covering was that I had no warning. This is false. For example, the, re the recent derecho, which spawned several tornadoes and serious straight line winds across Ontario and Quebec, was warned upon several days before. And as for me, I made a written down forecast of the day, and here it is. Now keep in mind, this was five days before the event, and it was forecasted by me. And if writing looks terrible, uh, sorry. <laughs> also, to the add on to the point of I had no warning, the SBC issues outlooks up to eight days in advance. So this is for the United States. And tornado warning lead time is on average is about nine minutes. And even before, watches are issued hours before the event takes place, which is enough time to get to shelter. The second myth relates to the last point, and it's if you open all of your windows to depressurize your house. This makes next to no difference and only wastes time when you should just hurry and get to shelter. The third myth is a classic, and it's that you should hide under an overpass if you are caught on the road during a tornado. Now this is obviously false. Hiding under an overpass is a terrible idea. The overpass acts like a, like a wind tunnel, and it funnels the winds, uh, making them a lot faster. In the video shown here from 1991, in Kansas, a film crew was being chased by a tornado, and they attempted to outrun it, which is also another myth that is false, and you should never try to outrun a tornado, because you can't. They eventually parked under an overpass, but thankfully the tornado passed just south of them, leaving them unharmed. But for another person parking in a ditch nearby in their video, you can see the car being picked up and thrown. The person in the car sustained serious injuries, which also brings up another point. Your car is a terrible shelter for a tornado. To just pile on the point of overpasses even more, uh, in 1999, the Bridge Creek Moor tornado killed three people under overpasses, with many others being injured in gruesome fashion with the list being shown here. The fifth and final myth is that tornadoes only happen in a certain time of year. Now this is 100% false, and all the proof that you need is just go back and look at the December 10th and 11th uh, tornado outbreak, which in total killed over 100 people, by f it killed way over 100 people, and injured many more, and also did some major infrastructure damage. But to tie into the I had no warning portion, not a single tornado went unwarned, and the SBC issued an outlook for it, I believe up to five days in advance, which you can make your plans in five days, and then on the day of, they issued a moderate risk, and that would have definitely given you enough lead time and heads up. So whenever, when anybody said during that event that they had no warning, that's completely false, and it really bugs me. And there are plenty of other myths that are false. So if you guys enjoyed and you want me to do a part two, I would gladly do a part two. And make sure to like and subscribe, and I hope you enjoyed. Uh, see ya.